In Genshin Impact, Purina is the one of the best characters in the game. As for being a DPS of DPS support, I think she's the best Archon in the game and overall character in the game. He can actually outform your DPS damage, like your DPS character damage in the team. And he can make your DPS look like a little boy when she uh, and her pet deals a massive amount of damage. So we're gonna talk about everything related to DPS Furina in the in this video. So stay tuned until the end, guys. Alright, guys. This is my Furina. Furina having 77 crit rate, 207 crit damage with the 110 energy charge. I'm having 45, 44,000 HP here, 1600 attack. And the weapon I'm using the Primordial Shade Cutter. The artifacts that I'm using the Golden Troop, the Foo Piece Set. The artifacts are not that great. Yes, I've been doing three uh, crit damage, 10% HP, just having 24 crit damage, little bit of energy recharge, and this having 26% crit damage and 2.7% crit rate with, along with 4.5% energy recharge. Just having a main strat HP. Here is also main strat. The HP percentage here I'm having 20% crit damage, not so great. Here I'm having crit damage as a main strat with. 6% HP and 6% crit rate. This is my Furina with the no constellation and talents are on 110 9. I'm using my favorite team with the Furina. It's the Jean, Shinkyu, and Shangling. Of course, you can replace the uh, Shinkyu with the Yelen and Shangling with Toma if you want. But using a one Hydro and one sub, uh, Pyro support character with Furina along with the art character like Jean who can heal the whole team very fast. This is gonna be the very good team with Furina. As for being a support and sub DPS, Furina is super super amazing on the field. But what about being a DPS character? I think you are using your Furina as your DPS character, but still he she's just you know performing as a sub DPS because you can't really doing anything with Furina. You're just deploying the deploying the pets of the Furina on the field and then just keep on doing the rotation, like switching on to the Shangling, Shing Jin or any other character that you are using in your Furina team. There's a many Furina teams that you can use with her, like you can use the Bloom team, Vaporize team, Freeze team and the Hyper Bloom team. In terms of dealing damage, yes, Furina is super super strong. The pets of Furina deals a heavy amount of damage, which can be easily overwritten by any DPS character's damage. Like the combination of Shang Li and Furina is just the insane, like most insane combination in the game. They just outshine any DPS character, uh, uh, any DPS character in Genshin Impact. Like the example is if you use your Sh Shangling and Furina with a uh, Resli, you can easily outshine the Resli damage in that team. The Furina is that much strong. Out of all Furina's team, I think uh, the Vaporize team of Furina is super super amazing. You can pair Furina with uh, Shangling or Thoma. These are gonna be very good comp. These both, Thoma and Shangling, gonna be very good with Furina. That I played Furina for like almost 30-40 uh, days now. And Furina is very very strong with the Vaporize, you know, reaction. Purina is super strong with uh, Hyper Bloom also, but in the case of Hyper Bloom, uh, uh, Hydro doesn't play that a uh, very big part, like the Electro and Dendro plays a uh, very strong part, and also Hyper Bloom is fully based on the Elemental Mastery. The higher you having Elemental Mastery on your uh, DPS character or the sub DPS character, the higher you're not going to deal the damage. But in terms of giving raw, Hydro damage, Furina is already very strong. He, uh, she, uh, her pet will like pets give very high amount of you know raw hydro damage. When you compare that raw hydro damage with the vaporized reaction, the combination of pyro and hydro, uh, Furina just became very insane. If you have a very good build of Furina and uh, any so a good pyro character, uh, Furina can give a very good amount of damage. And also guys, Furina is the only character that can be used with any DPS because her supporting ability is not limit, limited to any one point or one thing. She just gave a norm, she just gave a normally damage bonus, not any particular to any element or attack percentage or HP percentage. No, she just gave a damage bonus that they, and she can give that damage bonus to any character, any DPS character. So she's very versatile. Don't forget to use a one healer in your team when you're using your Furina because Furina needs a proper healer because Furina just takes your HP to the 50% of your, you know, whole team. So that very insane. So always remember to, you know, use a proper healer in your team.
I think that's it for the video guys. I hope you like the video. Furina is a very super strong character. You can use Furina as a DPS or sub DPS. But as I already told you, Furina is a very good sub DPS and a support character. Like the best in the game currently. So try to use Furina in that way. Guys, if you like the video, you can hit the like button. You can comment your thoughts below. If I said something wrong, you can also correct me in the comment. If you want to see more Genshin related videos in the future, please subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video there. Guys, till then, bye bye, take care.